Good afternoon everyone, hope you're well and welcome to the first Take 5. These are five ideas for you to do around a different subject every week. This week the subject is art. I have five ideas for you ranging from the ages 0 to 100. Number one. This first one is very simple and predominantly aimed at children between 0 and 6, so older ones might like to do it as well. All you need is a bucket full of water or a bowl and some paintbrushes. And then if you have an outdoor area, let the children loose. Let them paint everything with water. If you don't have an outside area or garden, come inside and get some boxes, scrap paper, newspaper, anything you like, and let the children paint those with water. The wonderful thing is about this, the children will love role playing, being a painter, a decorator, an artist. For you, the fantastic thing is there is no mess. It dries. You can use the paper again if you are using paper. From an educational aspect, it's fantastic because the children get to see how using things like different pressures and angles of the paintbrushes create different sort of strokes in their painting. And also when they're holding the paintbrushes, these are the same muscles that's used to hold a pencil so their pencil grip will improve. Number two, I'm sure we've all come across and can't help but having encountered mindfulness colouring. They're absolutely fantastic to do, but what about creating your own? For the older children, there are plenty of YouTube videos on how to do this, and for younger children, you can just show them a picture of mindfulness colouring and ask them to recreate it. Whilst they're doing it, ask them what the different lines are called. Are the lines wavy, horizontal, diagonal, vertical? When they finish, the children can colour in or ask someone else to colour in their masterpiece. Or even if you know a family member or friend in isolation, maybe send them the mindfulness colouring with a few felt tips to colour in. Number three, self, no, not self-portraits, portraits of other people. These are to be done to help the children recognise the different features on a face. So remember that the person you're looking at whilst you're drawing has a nose. How are you going to draw it? How can you interpret it? For older children, make it into a bit more of a game. Try doing a portrait with your eyes closed. This always goes down very well and a lot of laughter is had. Number four, research an artist. Any artist, it could be Picasso, it could be Monet. Put together a little fact file about them. It doesn't matter who it is or how abstract they are. Let's, let us know where they live, what they used to paint, what their life was like. After this fact file is put together, Ask the child to create their own picture in the style of the artist they have researched. And number five, introducing a little bit of craft to this one. This is an idea I saw on Facebook and I think it's absolutely lovely. Just take an old small box or a jar and decorate it. The next step, how long since you have been indoors have many people said, I wish we could, I'd just like to, wouldn't it be nice if we... From now on, any time anyone in your family says this, write it down on a bit of paper and put it in the jar or box that you have decorated. After this is all over, that will be your family boredom buster. When someone says they're bored, they can pick something out of the jar or box that you have created and go forwards and just do it. No one's ever going to be bored again. Have fun. And if you could let me know in the comments if there's any particular subject you would like me to cover in next week's Take 5, I'd love to hear from you. Have a fantastic day. Bye.